Welcome to the Swing Trading with Cycles channel. We're going to do an update on Uranium today. We're going to focus on one name. It is Fission 3.0. And we're looking at the homepage here for that name. I talked about this in a previous update where I reviewed something like 12 individual Uranium names. We're going to look at this particular one. The price action is really bullish. And as it turns out, there's some good fundamental news. So this discovery looked like it was actually pretty positive in terms of potentially having some uranium deposits in it. This name has something like 16 different um, sort of areas that it, it's you know investigating for uranium. So a lot of shots on goal, as it were. And the price action has been crazy bullish, up 360% in like the last month or so, right? And so also be aware, just recently completed some kind of private placement it looks like at 42 cents a share. Mind you, the thing is trading something like 23 cents. Although, to be fair, it's it'll be important to know because it's trading on different exchanges. FUU is more like 30 cents right now, but that's Canadian. So I think this is all dollars. So 42 cents dollars, it, like that's meaningful because we're not very we're like that's we're pretty far from there right now, right? Like we closed at 23 cents just about. So let's talk about how this thing is looking. So let's start on the monthly chart and per the previous video and definitely take a look at the link in the description for that. If you're not following on Twitter, you can find a link for that as well in the description so you can stay up to date on sort of real time. We talked about this. This is your monthly chart. Huge November monthly candle. My God, this is our December candle, which is not gone green. That's great but huge, beautiful, big green November candle. And most importantly, this huge move, so from a low of basically five cents to a high of the 23 cents kind of range that we're in right now, that is, I mean, that's the 360% move we talked about, right? That happened in November. And it took out all of this downtrend. Right. So we had been we had declined for all this time and it took all of that out just like that. Right. And one fell swoop. And to put it in context, that's what these numbers are. Just kind of looking at how long did this rally last? So we have this rally that went for 21 months. Right. So all of this pretty sizable. Right. So the low of was like a was one and a half pennies. <laughs> and the high here was the 24 ish and that's the other exciting thing we're getting up to like a double really triple top area like right that like we had resistance here and let's let's talk about that let's zoom out from that let's delete these I don't want them to get in the way I was just kind of looking at what the long-term cycles might look like right but I mean look at this price action this huge move takes out all of this decline again so this decline starts back in november 2021 so over a year's worth of declines taken out in just one month and so it takes us right back to this swing high make no mistake about it and again i hope you're learning about that on this channel if you're new this is all about price action and a swing high is an incredibly significant um, piece of price action because the swing high is the beginning of a downtrend right this swing high, once we went below the low of that candle, right? Just to put a finer point on it. Boom. So that candle has a low at 15 cents, basically. So once we cross below 15 cents, we then declined all the way down to 5 cents. And then we consolidated for three months, basically. I mean, what an ugly... This was a... This is a bearish outside monthly candle and one that where you expect to have downside follow through. And that's actually what we got. And just to be clear, again, this is your monthly chart. This is your monthly chart. These are monthly candles. So this is September. So we had this like doji candle in August. And then we had this big bull and a bearish engulfing candle. Same thing, right? Slightly different definitions, but basically this means it makes a higher high and a higher low, but closes red. That's a bearish outside uh, candle. And we did that. And then in October, we actually had follow through. We made a new low, but then it didn't, like, it, it made a slight lower low, 
but then didn't really go anywhere. And then in November, boom, rocket ship. And that's, of course, I think the fundamental news starting to sink in, right? Not necessarily that specific discovery I just talked about, but just in general, this thing has prospects now, right? Which is always good to know that the price action that you're looking at has something behind it, right? They're like, okay, right, there's a real path to making money for this company. And so you think about where we might be headed next. Look at that cluster, right? That $34, $35, $0.35 area. And most exciting is that once we get above there, we start to get into this area where it could take us right up to just around $0.70, cents, right? And again, remember, we're at $0.23 cents here. So that's huge upside. That's over a double. That's almost a triple, right? And like once we get above that $0.70, cent, like, and the reason why $0.70, cents, that area looks significant Look at this little consolidation here, right, in these months. And again, that's contingent upon the idea that we can get through, you know, call it 35-ish. Because look at all of this chop, right? All of this chop existed below right around 35 cents. So if we can get above that, back tested from above, would be very bullish and puts us into a, sort of a vacuum up to the 70 cent area. And if we can get above that, then back to all-time highs around 92 cents. Important to note, right, what is the market cap for this bad boy? So it is 70 cents. Average trading volume last 10 days, about 700,000 shares. So 70 million. That's not tiny, tiny, but it's also small enough that you could increase 4x and it would still only be 280 million, right? Again, that's a large number in absolute terms. But nothing in in terms of like securities, right? And so that puts us in a pretty interesting situation. And that's always important to kind of understand how much more do we have to rally. And you think about it, we start the low for this month again, for November again, was around five cents. So that means we started with a market cap of around 15 million, right? That's when the magic can happen, right? When you have a market cap that's that low. And so I talk about that. That's probably one of the most important fundamental things to be aware of if you're not aware of anything else. It's the market cap. Because a $15 million market cap, that's how you get a kind of move like this. So that's your monthly move. And if we zoom out, or zoom in, I should say, to our weekly, let's just categorize some daily, some weekly cycles here. So, because, I mean, I want to understand this thing with a little bit more precision because I'm looking to get long. So, like, you can kind of see these humps. Like, that's a cycle, that's a cycle, that's a cycle, that's a cycle, right? They're obviously not all the same length, right? So, like, that is, like, 14 weeks. That is 17 weeks. That's much longer. That's 41 weeks. And you're like, wait, how can this be useful? It's because we're not trying to predict when we're going to get the low, 27 weeks. We're just categorizing what's happening. That's 21 weeks. And that is 15 weeks, right? So that tells, that suggests, I shouldn't say it tells me, it suggests that that was the start of a new weekly cycle. So week one, week two, week three, big, big green candle, week three. That's what's causing that big November uh, candle. So week three, week four, week five, week six is when we make a high. Week seven, which is, hasn't made a new high yet. And we're going to start week eight on Monday, right? And so there is no reason why we couldn't see something like, you know, now that we've consolidated a little bit, you know, a further kind of push up. And then finally we get a swing high, right? And that's about, you know, how much of a move can you kind of catch and still kind of preserve? Like how much of the move can you catch and preserve profits, right? Like you might take profit right there, right? Like, let let it ride higher, let's say 50 cents, and you can take profit when you get a daily swing low, low. Or excuse me, this is a weekly chart. And, of course, you have to calibrate what what how much risk you're willing to take, as always. This is not financial advice, and it never is. This is your daily chart. And so, again, you always want to kind of, this is a, that's the multi-time frame analysis. That's the edge on this channel. You always want to understand how the cycles fit within each other. So we just talked about the weekly cycle where we're on, probably on week like five. And this is your daily cycle. I think we just made a daily cycle low, folks. Boom. So that is clearly your last daily cycle low. 
And we're not going to go through all of them. The point is to use this as a shorthand. Boom. That was another daily cycle low. Another one. That was an obvious one, right? So you start to start to see. And of course, for every daily cycle low we have, we also have a daily cycle high. Like that. Like that. And in this case, that was our daily cycle high, is what I suspect. And so that's helpful because that that it's like it gets that out of the way right and that was on so this bottomed on day 32 it looks like to me right and our our daily cycle high came on day 26. so that's pretty that's a nice that's a really bullish cycle right where you rally for 26 days especially in this case <laughs> where the rally is like literally hundreds of percent and then you drop and mind you this is like a 30 percent drop here so like not nothing to shake a sort of stick at in terms of declines but that would mean that on a daily chart we're on day one two three of a new daily cycle will be day four on monday and so i feel like the risk reward here is pretty compelling and you think about something like that as your as a stop like 20 cents even 21 cents Obviously, percentage terms, it's still, you know, not a small amount. What is that? That's like, you know, like, no, well, yeah, it's like seven, five, six percent. But you think about what the upside is, right? Like if you, you could legitimately make a move to 50 from here, that's a double up. That's like 20 cents. Like, you know, it's like risking, you know, three cents for like 20, 40, 30 cents. So easily uh, five, six, seven, number one in terms of risk reward. So again, good way to think about this. And that's an important sort of point I want to make is that as you observe this, like this huge run up, it's important to note where was the swing low, right? It was here, right? So this rally didn't just start here. It started here. And so how long has it been going? So by the time you get here, you know, it topped out on day 26, it would seem. But by the time you got to here, you're already on day like 20. You have to start to be a little bit cautious. Like, oh, wow, this huge move, literally hundreds of percent, and it's 20 days of a rally so far. Now I need to start getting a little cautious. So that's a that's a thing, an axiom that cycles, I think, helps to ingrain in that. You start to be cautious. Like, oh, okay, maybe this rally has kind of run its course in terms of time because everything does at some point, right? But man, this gives you a very nice little entry with clear stops. And we, maybe we pull back more. Maybe this is not our daily cycle low. And it's going to be something more complex, right? That we do, we did this, we did that. And maybe it's that, right? And maybe even that. And then a move up. We have to be, we, we're, we're prepared for all scenarios because we're monitoring the price action, right? In real time to understand kind of what's happening. So that is Fission 3.0 Uranium. Again, as I said, we didn't talk too much about fundamentals. There's a ton of great content out there about the fundamentals that you can kind of consult. This is more understanding how is the price behaving? How is that moving? How do I use that to my advantage? Has this thing run too far for me already? In reality, it may have just made a short-term low, which is giving a perfect opportunity to try to get on the train. So that's Fission 3.0. Thanks for watching, folks.